I'm Stephen Kessel, the principal investigator of the Bimini Biological Field Station. Now I'm going to show you um, how we tag the sharks when we catch them, the larger sharks, the adult sharks. So every shark we catch that's above 140 centimetres in total length, total length being from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail, we give a National Marine Fisheries, um, it's called an M-type dart tag, but it's uh, commonly known as a Casey tag, named after the guy John G. Casey who invented them. This is a Casey tag here. Uh, it's an external tag, unlike the pit tags that we put in the smaller sharks and all the lemon sharks. And that means that anyone who catches the shark or encounters the shark can see that it's been tagged. And if they have any knowledge about shark tagging, they can return this information. So when we catch a shark on the long lines, we'll have it tied up alongside the boat um, with a tail rope to the rear. And we'll leave the hook in and use that to the front. And we'll stretch it alongside the boat so that it's heads into the current and it can breathe nicely. And then we'll apply the Casey tag. Now the way we do that, this is the Casey tag applicator. It has a little dart there and the shaft here, the dart just clips on the shaft. And uh, we place that in around this location here. Trail back at about a 45 degree angle. Uh, we hold that with one hand there and give it a big whack with the other hand. Now that pushes the dart in and then we pull out the applicator and the rubber band leaves it in there like so. And then this trails off behind the shark. It doesn't really hurt the sharks. The sharks barely ever even react. And when they do, I think it's more to the pressure than the actual pain of the shaft going in. So this trails back like this, and this have, has a six-digit, if you can see that, a six-digit uh, number, which is individual to that animal. Um, this is for our study purposes. So when we catch uh, larger sharks, when we recatch larger sharks, we can identify them. But all this data we also send to the National Marine Fisheries Service in America and it goes into a big global database um, of sharks mainly based around the Atlantic. Uh, it's called the Cooperative Ta Shark Tagging Program. Now, um, the Cooperative Shark Tagging Program was started in 1962 by John G. Casey, the guy who invented the tags. And it's uh, based mainly around the Atlantic, as I said, um, and it involves a number of different countries. It involves scientific organizations such as ourselves, uh, the National Marine Fishery Service do a lot of tagging themselves and it also um, involves a lot of volunteer recreational anglers who are, are interested in not killing sharks but actually catching them and letting them go. And they can be sent these tags to uh, put in the sharks which gives them more motivation I guess to keep the sharks alive. It makes them feel like they're doing something. Um, so when someone catches this uh, shark, if it has one of these tags on and they see one, you see it's got a screw tip on the top there. This comes off. This cap comes off, it's a capsule, and then there's a little sheet inside, it has the number on it, and it's a little scroll that scrolls out, and in six different languages it has a little uh, statement saying about returning this tag capsule to the National Marine Fisheries Service, how to do that, and that you will receive a reward. The reward they give now is a baseball cap, an embroidered baseball cap. They used to give money, but they found that people were sending false information just to obtain the money, so they had to reduce the prize, the reward, um, to ensure that people weren't giving them false information. Now, as I said, the, the program's been going since uh, 1962. There's been over 150,000 sharks tagged since then, representing, I think, it's 42 different species. Um, the longest shark at large, the longest time a shark's been tagged and then recaptured within that study, is 27.8 years, which is obviously a very, very long time. And where we're given time, there'll probably be sharks uh, at liberty for a longer period, which uh, tells us a lot about their age and also about their growth as well and migration. Um, the study involves volunteers from 32 different countries, but there's actually been tag returns from 47 different countries which in itself it um, highlights the difficulties in managing shark populations because you can manage there goes the tag, you can manage sharks in your water so for example in America finning is illegal within their um, national within the boundaries of their waters however these sharks will regularly swim outside those boundaries and they swim to countries where finning is legal so it's very very difficult to uh, internationally manage shark populations because whatever you're doing nationally can just be taken away by these sharks swimming outside of your waters, which they clearly will do since they're only being tagged in 32 countries and picked up in 47 so far, and that's only so far, so I'm sure there'll be more in the future.